make sure my mic is on. It is on. Well, this sermon is 1,600 years old. It's the Paschal homily of St. John Chrysostom, who is the Archbishop of, Canter- of Canterbury, the Archbishop of Constantinople in the late 4th century. And this is a classic. It's a banger, as the kids say, uh, that has been um, used as part of the Easter liturgies in Orthodox churches for hundreds and hundreds of years. But in order for you to hear it, you have to learn a little Greek, which was John Chrysostom's original language. So it is the Greek for Christ is risen, Christos Anesti, Christos Anesti. Now, those of you who have seen my big fat Greek wedding recognize this. And the response is Alithos Anesti, truly he is risen. So when I say Christos Anesti, you say Alithos Anesti. Christ is risen, truly he is risen. This will come in handy soon. So here are the words in English of our brother St. John Chrysostom. Is there anyone who is a devout lover of God? Let them enjoy this beautiful, bright festival. Is there anyone who is a grateful servant? Let them rejoice and enter into the joy of their Lord. Are there any weary with fasting? Let them now receive their wages. If any have toiled from the first hour, let them receive their due reward. If any have come after the third hour, let them with gratitude join in the feast. And those that arrived after the sixth hour, let them not doubt, for they too shall sustain no loss. And if any delayed until the ninth hour, let them not hesitate, but let them come too. And the ones who arrived only at the eleventh hour, let them not be afraid by reason of their delay. For the Lord is gracious and receives the last even as the first. He gives rest to those that come at the eleventh hour as well as to those that toiled from the first. To this one he gives, and upon another he bestows. He accepts the work as he greets the endeavor. The deed he honors, and the intention he commends. Let us all enter into the joy of the Lord. First and last alike, receive your reward. Rich and poor, rejoice together. Sober and slothful, celebrate the day. You that have kept the fast and you that have not, rejoice today for the table is richly laden. Feast royally on it. The calf is a fatted one. Let no one go away hungry. Partake all of the cup of faith. Enjoy all the riches of his goodness. Let no one grieve at his poverty, for the universal kingdom has been revealed. Let no one mourn that he has fallen again and again, for forgiveness has risen from the grave. Let no one fear death, For the death of our Savior has set us free. He has destroyed it by enduring it. By descending into hell, he made hell captive. He embittered it when it tasted of his flesh. And Isaiah, foretelling this, cried, Hell was embittered when it encountered thee in the lower regions. It was embittered because it was embolished. 
It was embittered, for it was mocked. It was embittered, for it was slain. It was embittered, for it was overthrown. It was embittered, for it was fettered in chains. Hell took a body and discovered God. It took earth and encountered heaven. It took what it saw and was overcome by what it did not see. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, Hades, where is thy victory? Christos Anesti, and you, O oh, death, are annihilated. Christos Anesti, and the demons are cast down. Christos Anesti, and the angels rejoice. Christos Anesti, and life is liberated. Christos Anesti, and the tomb is emptied of its dead. For Christ, having risen from the dead, is become the first fruits of those who has fallen asleep. To him, be glory and dominion unto ages of ages. Amen.